Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, Avator Updates. I am Rakesh Negi and I am an aviation enthusiast. In today's session, I will be discussing about photoelectric smoke detectors. So friends, you must be knowing that in the cargo compartment or baggage compartment of aircraft, smoke detectors are used to detect smoke. So in today's session, I will be explaining about one of the types of smoke detector and that is photoelectric smoke detector. So let's start. Photo electric smoke detector. So, friends, in this type of smoke detector, what do we have? Okay, so let's learn its construction. In this type of smoke detector, we have a chamber closed chamber okay called as the labyrinth okay what is it called labyrinth l a b y r i n t h labyrinth chamber okay what is this labyrinth chamber friends it is a chamber having irregular shape openings or passages okay you will come to know now in this labyrinth chamber in one of its side we have a photoelectric cell suppose this is a photoelectric cell photo electric cell so what is the purpose of photoelectric cell friends you must have studied in your higher secondary its purpose is to conduct current or allow the flow of electrons through it whenever light falls on it okay so what did we learn about photoelectric cell this cell will allow electrons to flow through it or current to flow it through it whenever light falls on this cell okay okay next what do we have we have a lamp suppose this is a lamp over here called as the beacon lamp okay beacon lamp this beacon lamp in earlier types of photoelectric detectors we used to have this of incandescent bulb type Okay, so the incandescent bulb, we know well friends, they have a limited life. Hence, they are not used on today's modern smoke detectors. In place of incandescent lamp, what we use is LEDs. Okay, that is light emitting diode. Okay, so beacon lamps which are used on today's modern aircraft are of LED type. Okay, so this LED, what does it do? It used to throw light like this. Okay, so suppose this arrow is representing the light and this light it falls on a unit which is called as light trap okay light trap or you can also call it as catcher c-a-t-c-h-e-r catcher or catcher okay friends so whatever light comes from the beacon lamp that light falls on the light trap and one more thing which we have in this labyrinth chamber is test lamp or LED light emitting diode so friends these are the four units which are there in the labyrinth chamber okay and this unit is of course mounted in a casing suppose this is the casing okay so I have used dashed lines to indicate the casing of the smoke detector now friends what happens here is if you see this beacon lamp it is throwing light and captured by the catcher or light trap so this light remember that it is perpendicular to this photo cell okay so we can see that the photoelectric cell is mounted perpendicular to the light which comes from the beacon lamp and goes towards the light trap or catcher so i'll just erase this okay as of now this was just to tell you that the photoelectric cell is mounted at 90 degrees to the direction of the light coming from beaker lamp and coming towards the light trap or catcher. Now friends we know that since this is a smoke detector how is it supposed to be used okay for using it of course there must be some air inlet and outlet right. 
I'm using black ink to show you the air inlet. Suppose this is a pipe for the air inlet. Okay, so from here the air flow can come in. So whatever air flow comes in into this chamber, that air flow can move out by means of another pipe or another duct like this. So this is air out. So air out. So air flow will come out from here. Okay. So in the normal process, how does the system work? Just install this smoke detector in a line from where the air inlet will go in and air outlet will come out. Okay. And if suppose the air whatever gets in, in, in that air if there is more than 10% of smoke, then what will happen? Suppose this is smoke, which has come through this line. Okay. Whatever air gets in, suppose there is smoke more than how much percent? 10%. And that 10% of smoke comes here. So what does this smoke do here? Okay. So in normal process, what is happening friends here is the beacon lamp or LED was throwing light and it was captured by the light trap or catcher. That was what we have discussed. Yes. Now what will happen is since in this air, more than 10% of smoke is present. So that smoke will come over here in this area. And that smoke, what does it do? It used to reflect the light okay which light this light so this light whatever is here will be reflected or scattered in different directions so it will be reflected like this because of the smoke okay so why did this light deflect it's because of the presence of smoke particles so note one point friends that the light which was coming from the beacon lamp towards the light trap that light is reflected or scattered because of the smoke particles and when this light is reflected you can see here friends the light is going to the photoelectric cell and what did we learn about the photoelectric cell if any light falls on it it will cause the electrons to flow through it or current to conduct hence we can say that a signal will be produced okay so the photoelectric cell will produce a signal this signal is given to an amplifier and amplifier or you, you can say a computer which will trigger alerts in the cockpit okay and you know well friends in cockpit we get the warning in the form of a master warning that will be lit up and oral sound and if the cockpit is advanced cockpit like airbus 320 aircrafts cockpit then you can get alert on the display as well that is on the ecam okay so how do we get alert in the cockpit friends we get it from the computer Okay, the amplified signal will go to the computer and the computer will give the alert in the cockpit. From where is this signal coming? Okay, this signal is coming from the photoelectric cell. And in the photoelectric cell, who caused the signal or current to flow? The light which was reflected. Okay, how did the light got reflected? Because of the presence of smoke in the air. The smoke particles had reflected the light. Which light? The light beam which used to come from the beacon lamp LED towards the light trap okay so that light was reflected and hence because of this whole process we get the alert in the cockpit so friends i hope you are clear with the operation of photoelectric smoke detector okay so i'll quickly summarize this and then we'll learn about how to test this photoelectric smoke detector okay so what we have learned is first we have learned about the construction where we learned that there is a chamber closed chamber called as the labyrinth chamber in this labyrinth chamber which is placed within the casing we have four units called as a photoelectric cell which is mounted at right angles to the light coming from the beacon lamp towards the light trap right so this beacon lamp in earlier types of uh, photoelectric cells it used to have lamp of incandescent type the incandescent type lamp or bulb used to have limited life hence on modern smoke detectors which are used in modern aircraft we are using the led type beacon lamp so that led it used to throw the light on the unit called as light trap that is what we have studied of another unit the light trap is also called as catcher because it used to receive the light next we will also study about the test lamp okay we will learn about the test lamp after some time uh, after that we have learned that 
in the smoke detector where it is installed in a circuit it used to have an inlet and outlet suppose if there is more than 10 percent of smoke in the air whatever is coming in through this air inlet that smoke will reflect and scatter the light and in such a way that the reflected light will hit the photoelectric cell which will cause a signal to be induced or electrons to flow and that signal will be amplified and given to a computer which will cause the alert to be triggered in the cockpit in the form of visual and oral alerts so now friends let's learn how to test the photoelectric smoke detector okay so for testing we have an electrical circuit generally it is said that in a complete smoke detection system we should have a provision of testing the circuit so yes we do have for testing it how is the circuit suppose this is a battery okay so this battery by means of a circuit breaker here supply is connected like this this supply goes to a lamp okay suppose this is a beacon lamp beacon lamp this one okay so this supply is going to beacon lamp will it lit now it depends whether it is grounded or not okay so for grounding it gets supply like this okay. suppose there is a contact like this suppose this is the contact so this contact okay when closed it will provide grounding path like this and hence this beacon light will lit up right next this supply from the battery to the circuit breaker is also connected to another circuit okay and in this circuit there is a switch which will be there in the cockpit so this switch is there in the cockpit okay so this test switch will be there in the cockpit to test the smoke detector circuit so the battery supply through this circuit breaker when this switch is closed will come like this and the supply will be given to a coil like this coil is grounded okay that means the coil will get energized when this coil gets energized friends note that here we have another contactor okay this contactor is connected to a test lamp so i'm drawing the test lamp over here suppose this is the test lamp this one okay so this time test lamp or led is here so this test lamp also gets grounded by means of this part okay so as of now which lamp will be lit beacon lamp or test lamp so as per this diagram since the contact this contact is connected to this side so the beacon light is getting grounding path that's why it will be lit up okay so in normal operations the beacon light will be lit up like this but suppose you're on ground and you want to test it okay so how do you test you press the switch circuit will close current will flow by means of this path it will energize this coil when this coil gets energized the contact will shift from here to here so when it shifts down like this this test lamp will get the grounding path and it will be lit up so this test lamp when it will be lit up friends see what it is doing it will throw light on this photoelectric cell or detector you can see right so the light will fall over here so instead of the deflected light from the smoke you are having a simulated light which will be from the test lamp and that light will be thrown on the photoelectric cell or detector hence it will cause a current to flow through the amplifier and or computer that will trigger alert in the cockpit and that's how you test the smoke detector circuit okay so what is the purpose of test lamp i hope it is clear i'll repeat again the purpose of test lamp is to simulate the reflected light which comes only in case when smoke is there but since during the test phase there is no smoke light we are assuming that condition so what we have to do is to produce the light which would be similar to the reflected light what we do is we simulate that light using the test lamp so when the test lamp produces the light it falls in the detector and the detector used to trigger a signal to the amplifier and computer which trigger alert in the cockpit so friends i hope you are clear with the test lamp now friends as you know how the test light will be lit up let's learn about the detector 
okay, in this circuit. Suppose this is a detector on photoelectric cell. I am just writing detector over here. This also needs to have a grounding path. Okay, suppose the grounding path is here. Obviously, in the wire there will be some resistance. So, I am just drawing a resistance over here. I am putting one resistance over here, friends, so that the battery current does not flow directly into the detector. It will follow the low resistance path, that is the beacon, and get grounded. Okay, in normal operations. Then I will put back this switch to the normal operation, like this. Okay, so this is how the normal circuit is. So, battery supply in normal operations comes from this. Why the beacon lamp, the supply gets grounded and hence the beacon light will be lit up, this lamp. Okay, which will cause the light to be thrown towards the light trap or catcher. And for controlling the circuit, I am just connecting a zero diode over here, like this. Okay, so don't focus more on the zero diode function. It will just carry out the voltage uh, control regulatory functions over here. But our main purpose is about the test lamp and the beacon lamp. Okay, in the circuit. So this circuit is for testing the smoke detector. Okay, so friends, I hope you are clear with the testing of the smoke detector. How is it done? I'll quickly summarize this as well. Okay, so in this circuit, we have a battery. From the battery, the supply goes by means of this circuit breaker to this path and this path. Okay, in the normal operation, it goes to the beacon lamp via this contact, it gets grounded and hence the beacon light will be lit up. Okay, now to learn about the test, what we have done is, there is a switch in the cockpit, if I put that switch to close position like this, okay, current will flow via this part, okay, and it will energize this coil. Okay, why did the coil get energized? Because it's having the grounding part. When this coil get energized, okay, it will pull the contact towards this position. So when this position is raised, okay, this test lamp will get the grounding path now and test lamp will be lit up. Why do we lit up the test lamp friends? The reason is we lit the test lamp, okay, which is this one to simulate the reflected light which can be produced by the presence of smoke, okay. So that light we are simulating from here, okay. Once it is simulated, it will throw light on the photoelectric cell which will produce a current signal which is amplified and used as a source for triggering alert in the cockpit, visual and oral both. So that's why we lit the test lamp by using this switch. Okay. And what is this? This is a detector on which the test lamp light will be falling. Okay. And what is this? Why is this resistance is there? So that the current does not travel here in this circuit. Okay. So friends, I hope you are clear with the construction, operation and testing of photoelectric smoke detector. I'll come up again with a new topic in my next session. Till then, enjoy learning this topic and thank you.